Hello and welcome to this video on Python programming. In this video, we will explore various ways of how Python documents the code and how you can use the tools of Python to document your own code. So one of the things which you might know is that hash begins a comment. With hash begins a comment. So you can use hash to comment your uh, uh, source code. And there is also something called docstring. For example, we'll talk about docstring later. So suppose you import a module like, uh, let's run the interpreter and we import a module OS. And if you want to know what is inside the module OS, then we can call a function called the dir. And we can say dir OS, which gives us all the attributes of the OS module. If we import sys and we say dir sys, then it gives us the attributes of sys. If we simply call dir, then it gives us the default attributes of a Python object. So now we have seen that. The second thing is how do you comment Python? So commenting is uh, with the hash. So suppose I have a function f uh, and it does something, it does something, then I can comment it like line by line hash what it does. So we can take it here and we sort it here. So that's how we can comment using hash. If you want to write multi-line comments, then Python triple quoted strings should be used. Also Python triple quoted string can be used to comment multi-line comments or strings or code. So using triple quotes you can use, uh, for tri with triple quotes you can comment multiple lines. Now there is something called docstring. So for example, uh, how do you write docstring? So the way to write docstring is at two places. One is at module level. That is in every file, you can write at the top level module introduction. And also for each function, you can write function level docstring docstring and you can say that uh, for this function I'll write pass so I've named this file docs.py so now we will import doc and if you see help docs then what shows you the top level uh, comment here and then for the functions it has shown the function level doc string here that's how it works for example if you take if you take help on int then this is what is written in the int module that's why you are able to see this otherwise you will not be able to see what help is there now it's not only that if you want to see only uh, help on docs.f then you see it shows you only function f's uh, module so for example we can have def g and we say that another doc string now when you will see module level uh, sorry ah, i will need to import it again if you see here, def, oh, this function needs a body. Nope, not working yet. Import dots, help dots. So you see, both the functions have come here. Now, if you want to see attributes of this module, you can say doc. So all the built-in uh, uh, module level attributes are here plus f and g 
So as I have shown uh, for F, we can also get help on G. That's how it works. So we have learned quite a few things here. To recap, we have learned about DIR, the hash comment, and the doc string. Python, if you, reference documentation is here. You have a tutorial, you have library reference, you have language reference, and so on. But what if you do not have internet connection? Then how will you get uh, this? So PyDoc comes to rescue. PyDoc is a very versatile documentation tool which can do lots of things. So if you use PyDoc as command and then you uh, type some name, then it shows you documentation of something. It can be a keyword, topic, function, module, package, dotted reference to a class or function within a module or module in a package. You can use minus case switch to search for keyword minus n to host name to start it an HTTP server with the given host name. Default is localhost. You can specify the port of HTTP server. You can do minus b to start an HTTP server on an arbitrary port. And it also opens the interactively browsable documentation. So you can read about it. So for example, my favorite way to quickly look at something is PyDocSMTP lib. So it gives you the documentation of SMTP library. For example, uh, Python uh, dict. That gives you the class dict. If you want to do a web server thing, then you can say Python minus, PyDoc minus B, which will run it on an arbitrary port on local. So here, you will get the same thing which is on the Python website. So you don't need to use internet connection. So for example, the SMTP lib documentation which I just opened will see it. The same thing is shown what is there. The same thing. There is no difference. You can see the same thing over here. You can use PyDoc to quickly browse Python's documentation. And uh, with this, we come to an end of our Python documentation uh, session. Ah, there is one more thing. So if you say f dot underscore dot underscore, then let's see what it prints. Oops, it is underscore underscore dot. So you see, it prints the uh, doc string of the function f. So each doc string is stored inside and distribute underscore underscore doc underscore underscore for that particular element, whether it is module or function or class. So you can have a class level doc string as well. Class doc string. Um, So now if we see import ups help docs. So now we have our class and the doc string of that. So method is defined here. It has some basic uh, attribute level uh, definitions here. So with this, we come to an end of uh, our documentation of Python video. In the next video, we will learn about error handling, or rather, you can call exception handling in Python. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you find this video useful, please subscribe to the channel and like my video, because it motivates me to make more videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Happy programming.